Hi there, welcome to this podcast. This is a portion of enjoyment from the Holy Word for Morning Revival for today on the general topic of, Experiencing, Enjoying, and Expressing Christ, Part 1, 2024 Summer Training, 2024 July Semiannual Training, Week 2, Day 5. The title of this portion of enjoyment is, Christ is the Sower Sowing Himself into Our Heart to Grow with Us for God's Building. We hope you enjoy the Lord while listening to this portion and we welcome your comments with what you have enjoyed. We need to see a vision of Christ as the sower sowing Himself as the seed of life into our heart to grow in us, mingle Himself with us, and build Himself into us for God's building. Christ is the sower who came to sow Himself as the seed of life into our heart so that He may grow in us, live in us, and be expressed through us for God's building. We need to see the vision of Christ as the sower sowing Himself into human beings for God's building today. Amen. What a wonderful person our dear Lord Jesus is. The more we read about Him, the more we read and pray over God's Word, the more we love Him. He is the most wonderful one. In the Gospel of Matthew, we see that, right from the beginning, Christ is the Son of David, Matthew 1 1, the Son of the King, and right at the end, the Triune God is blessing Himself with all that He is for our enjoyment and living with Him in this age until the consummation of the age, 28 19. And then in Matt. 13 3 we see that the Lord is the Sower. He is truly all-inclusive, and we can apply what He is to our being and in our experience today. We have seen that in Matt. 11 The Lord is our rest. He gives us rest and He is our rest. The Lord Jesus bore the yoke of the Father but was always at rest. When someone has a yoke, he cannot rest, for the yoke limits him to the uttermost. However, the Lord Jesus took the Father's will as His yoke and He was meek and lowly in heart, always at rest. Wow! Such a one now lives in us. As believers in Christ, we have the lowly and meek Christ living in our spirit. Today He is still calling us to Himself that we may have Him as our rest. Many times we toil and are heavily burdened, we carry so many burdens, and we toil so much. We want to achieve this or that, we want to please this or that person, or we may want to please God so we try harder to do things that we think are pleasing to Him. All day we toil and are burdened, bearing all kinds of burdens and laboring so hard both in human works, in works to please God, and in religious matters. The Lord is still here calling us to come to Him. We can just come to Him as we are and take His yoke upon us. We can take the Father's will and say Amen to His sovereign arrangement, being at rest with the Lord and in Him so that we may be just like He is, meek and lowly in heart. Even the power to bear the Father's will as a yoke comes from the Lord who lives in us, not from ourselves. God's will has to yoke us, and we have to put our necks into this yoke to become His duplication. Amen, Lord Jesus. Today we want to see a further aspect of Christ, Christ as the sower coming to sow Himself into our heart. Seeing the vision of Christ as the sower sowing Himself as the seed of life in our heart. In Matt. 13 3, 18 23 we see that the Lord Jesus is the sower coming to sow Himself as the seed of life into our heart. The sower is the wonderful person of the Lord Jesus, and the seed sown is also the Lord Himself as the embodiment of the triune God. The Lord Jesus clearly considered Himself as a sower, as He preached the gospel and taught the truth, He was a sower, and He sowed the Word of God as the seed of life into man's heart. The Lord Jesus didn't just perform miracles and teach good doctrines or teachings for man to live a better life that is pleasing to God, He was the sower sowing Himself as the seed of life into man's heart. Amen. Christ is the sower, the distributor of the divine life. What He sowed was not just words but the Word of life, the Word of God, which He Himself is, John 1 1. And the soil into which the seed was sown is the human heart, we, the chosen ones of God, are the soil in whom the seed has come. Christ is the Word of God, the embodiment of God as life, is sown into us as the soil. This is wonderful. We need to see the vision of Christ as the sower sowing Himself as the seed of life in our heart, for this is the very heart of the Lord's recovery. This matter is related to the desire of God's heart. What God desires is to come into us, His chosen people, to be our life in the way of mingling in order to make Himself our element and to make us His expression. Amen. The Lord didn't just sow some seeds in us and that's it. He sowed Himself as the seed of life into the soil of our heart, and this seed is growing with us. Amen. He desires to come into us as the seed of life, to be our life in everything, the way He becomes our everything is by mingling Himself with us. Through incarnation, Christ became the seed of life, and in His ministry He sowed Himself as the seed into others. He sowed Himself as the embodiment of the triune God into us, His believers. We all can testify that there's something of His life that grows in our hearts ever since we have heard the Gospel or read the Bible. Christ is the sower sowing Himself as the seed of life into our heart, and He wants to live in us, grow in us, and be expressed from within us. Hallelujah! 
Just as the seed sowed in the soil grows in the soil by absorbing something of the soil to blossom and bear fruit, so the Lord is the seed of life sown in our heart grows with us, with some elements from our heart, to blossom and bear fruit. With the seed sown in the soil there's the water, the air, and the things in the soil that help the seed to grow, and the seed grows with all these things, being helped by the nutrients in the soil and the water. Similarly in our spiritual life, the Lord came as the sower to sow Himself as the seed of life in our heart, and our heart has certain kinds of elements that help this seed of life to grow in us. The two mingle together, the Lord is the seed of life in our inner being, so that God and man may be mingled together and grow together as a plant. This plant is the body of Christ, it is the mingling of God and man to grow together. We can say that the body of Christ in reality is like a plant growing out of Christ as the seed of life sown in our human heart as the growing earth and growing together to be mingled together. May we see the vision of Christ, the sower, sowing himself as the seed of life in human beings. When we see this, we realize that the Lord's recovery in its very heart is about this, the mingling of God and man. This is the desire of the Lord's heart, that we as His chosen people would be mingled with God and grow with the growth of God, Colossians 2 19, by holding Him as the head and growing with the growth coming from Him. He desires to live in us, mingle Himself with us, and express Himself from within us. In the light of this matter, we can tell the Lord in all honesty. Lord Jesus, thank You for coming as the sower to sow Yourself as the seed of life into our heart. Thank You for coming to make Your home in our heart and settle down in us, sending roots deep down in our heart. Amen. Lord, we open our heart to You. We allow You to make Your home in us and to take root deep down in our heart. Grow in us, Lord. Cause us to grow in life with the growth of God. We hold You as the head, You are our head and we hold You to receive the growth from You. Mingle Yourself with us more today. May Your divine life and our human life be mingled together and grow together. We want to offer You the necessary elements for You to grow in us and for us to grow in You. May we grow together with the growth of God. Amen, Lord. Grant us to see the vision of Christ as the sower sowing himself as the seed of life into human beings to mingle himself with them and grow with them for the fulfillment of God's purpose. Christ sowed himself in our heart to grow in us for God's building, a mutual abode of God and man. If we see the vision of Christ as the sower sowing himself as the seed of life into our heart, we will realize that we today are growing together with Christ, us and Him, Him and us, we grow together, and the result is God's building. There are a few verses that put the growth in life and the building of God together. For God's desire is not just to grow in us by mingling Himself with us but even more, to gain a building, a mutual dwelling place of God and man, the church is the body of Christ. 1 Corinthians 3 9 says that we believers in Christ are God's cultivated land, God's building. The believers in Christ who have been regenerated in Christ with God's life, are God's cultivated land, a farm in God's new creation. As God's farm, we grow Christ so that we may produce many precious materials for God's building. V. 12. Wow! Nowhere in nature can we see this, but in the spiritual realm this is what our reality is today, Christ came as the sower to sow Himself as the seed of life in our heart, and He grows in us, and we grow in Him, to produce precious materials for God's building. The more Christ mingles Himself with us and grows in us, the more precious materials there are for God's building to be produced and built up. On one hand, we need to take care of the Lord's growth in us, opening to Him and allowing Him to root Himself deep down in our heart so that He may grow in us day by day. On the other hand, we need to be built up together with the saints and in the triune God so that He may gain the Church, the body of Christ, as the corporate expression of God on the earth. May we realize that we as believers in Christ are God's cultivated land to grow Christ so that precious materials may be produced for God's building. Christ is the seed of life sown in our heart by Himself as the sower, and we are the soil with the proper nutrients for the growth of this seed of life. Another verse that puts the growth of the seed of life together with the building of God is Ephesians 3:17 where we're told that the Lord makes His home in our heart for us to grow and be built together. God today is doing a particular work in us, He is making His home deep down in our inner being, in our heart. This is a work of building, which is carried out through the mingling of divinity with humanity. In John 14 23 the Lord said that those who love Him and keep His word, the Father and Him will come to this one to make an abode with Him. The triune God works Himself into us, builds Himself into us and builds us into Himself so that God and man, man and God, would become a mutual abode of God and man. According to the Bible, growth equals building, the more we grow in life by allowing the Lord as the seed of life to grow in us, the more we are built up in and as the church, 1 John 3 9, Colossians 2 19, Ephesians 4 15 16. The way Christ builds the church is not mainly by saving sinners and making them believers and members of the body but by building Himself into them. We need to daily grow in life by allowing the Lord to grow in our being and to make His home in our heart so that we may be built up together into God's house.
our growth in life takes place by the growth of the divine seed of life within us. May we let Him grow in us. May we daily grow in the Lord by offering Him the cooperation He needs to grow in us as the seed of life. As we grow in life and the Lord grows in us, God builds Himself into us and builds us into Himself. What we need today is for God to carry out His building work in us. He will build Himself into us to such an extent that we become God's house, His building, a mutual abode of God and man. Eventually, as Rev. 21-22 shows, the triune God and redeemed humanity will be fully mingled, blended, and built together to be one entity, the New Jerusalem. Today we are in the process of growing in life unto maturity for the building up of the Church as the body of Christ consummating in the New Jerusalem as the mutual abode of God and man. How much we need God to carry out His building work within us. Lord Jesus, thank You for sowing Yourself as the seed of life into the soil of our heart to make us God's cultivated land. Hallelujah, we are a farm in God's new creation to grow Christ so that precious materials may be produced for God's building. Amen, Lord, we open to You. Grow in us more today. Make your home deep down in our heart. Build yourself into us and build us into you. We open to your building work. May we grow in life day by day for God's building. May the seed of life grow within us for the building of God, the church is the body of Christ. Yes, Lord, make your home deep down in our heart. Mingle your divinity with our humanity. We pray for our daily grow in life by being mingled with God more and more. May the growth of Christ in us equal the building and result in the building. We love you, Lord and we want to keep your word, come in and make an abode with us. We want to dwell in you and for you to dwell in us. Carry out your building work in us today.